Hey, magandang buhay. So, ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang ituro or i-discuss sa iyo kung paano i-factor yung sum of two cubes. Okay? Sum of two cubes lamang tayo ngayon. Ready nga na? Great. Kapag ka nagpa-factor tayo ng sum or pwede rin difference of two cubes, it is very important na memorize mo itong mga ito. Pwede mo munang i-post yung video para i-memorize yan. Usually naman sa mga discussion, ang mga nagagamit yan is hanggang 10, minsan ginagamit yung 11. Pero ako kasi uh, pinapamemorize ko na hanggang sa 15 cube. So kailangan alam na alam mo yung mga yan. Okay, nice one. At least na-memorize mo na. Next, proceed tayo sa mga examples. Factoring sum of 2 cubes, we have this equation a cubed plus b cubed is equal to, may dalawa siyang factors, yung isa binomial, yung isa naman is trinomial. a cubed plus b cubed is equal to the quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a squared minus ab plus b cubed. Ang Pinaka technique lang dito is be familiar with the equation at saka repetition lang. Yun yung pinaka technique kapag ka para malaman mo, uh, para ma-master mo yung sum or difference of two cubes. Um, familiarization of the equation at saka repetition. First example tayo. We have x cubed plus 64. Malalaman mo na it, isa itong perfect, uh, isa itong sum of two cubes. Siyempre, dapat dalawa lang yung terms natin. Pangalawa, kailangan perfect cube silang pareho. Sa numbers, wala na tayong problema kasi nga, na-memorize mo na yan. Sa mga variables naman or sa may mga letters, malalaman mong perfect cube yan kapag ka yung exponent niya is a multiple of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on and so forth. Okay? Next, kapag ka nagpa-factor tayo dahil nalaman mo na na sum of two cubes siya, ang gagawin mo na ngayon is gagawa ka na ng groupings natin. Yung isa is para sa binomial at yung isa naman is para sa trinomial. Next, yung mga signs natin. Kapag ka sum of two cubes, yung, pag, yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga sign natin is positive, negative, positive. So, alternate siya. Again, positive, negative, positive. As you can see on our screen. Next tayo ngayon na, Ito na. First term natin is x cubed. Tama? Kunin natin, kunin natin yung cube root niya. So that would be x. Next, yung second term natin which is 64. Kunin natin yung cube root niya. So it's very important na talaga na dapat memorize mo yung pinag-finlash ko kanina. Okay? Cube root ng 64 that is... 4. So, kompleto na yung binomial mo. Next, trinomial natin. Tignan natin dito. Kunin natin ngayon yung cube root ng first term natin, which is x. Square natin yan, that would be, tama ka, x squared. Susunod naman, kunin natin yung second term ng binomial mo, dun sa answer natin, and that is 4. Square natin yung 4. Correct. That is 16. Paano yung sa middle, middle term ng trinomial natin? Kunin mo lang yung product ng dalawa. So, the product of x and 4 is correct. And that would be 4x. Therefore, that will be our final answer. x cubed plus 64 is equal to the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x squared minus 4x plus 16. Next example tayo, ah. We have 125 y raised to the 6th power plus 343. 125, nandun yan sa mga pinamemorize ko kanina. So, ibig sabihin, perfect cube yan. Yung 343, nandun din yan sa mga pinamemorize ko kanina. Yung y raised to 6, ang exponent niya is 6, which is a multiple of 3. Therefore, sum of 2 cubes tayo ngayon dito. Ano ang gagawin? Dalawang groupings, yung isa para sa binomial at yung isa naman is para sa trinomial. Next, yung sign, alternate. 
Positive, negative, positive. Next, kunin muna natin yung first term. Ang first term natin is yung 125y raised to 6. Ang cube root niya, isa-isahin natin. Ano ang cube root ng 125? Tama ka, that is 5. Eh yung y raised to 6? Tama, y squared. So, pagsamayin mo lang yan, 5y squared. Next, yung second term natin. Yan, yung 343. Cube root niya is? Correct. That is 7. Next, doon naman tayo sa trinomial. Kunin natin yung first term ng ating sagot doon sa binomial natin. At yun yung 5y squared. Square natin to. Tama ka na naman. That is... 25y raised to the fourth power. Susunod ay yung second term dun sa binomial ng sagot natin. And that is 7. Square natin yan. Makukuha natin is tama. 49. And yung pinakagitna natin, yung middle term natin, product lang. Nung 5y squared at saka ng 7. So ang product niyan is you are correct. That is 35 Y squared. So our answer now, so we'll have 125Y raised to 6 plus 343 is equal to the quantity of 5Y squared plus 7 times the quantity of 25Y raised to the 4th power minus 35Y squared plus 49. Again, ang pinaka technique lang dito is repetition sa familiarization with the uh, equation. Okay? So with that, uh, maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Yung susunod nating video, yung difference of two cubes, nasa description yan. Okay? With that, maraming salamat. Magandang buhay.